This is in echo July 2022 general mathematics paper to end we are answering question number 7b and the question reads Mr. Ade borrows on monthly basis in the following sequence. So first month is 530 naira, second month is 545 naira and the third month is 560 naira and so on. So the question asks is to calculate his total debt in a year. If this is the sequence that gives uh, the amount of money he borrowed each and every month. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. Let me just uh, copy these numbers. That is the amount borrowed uh, first month, amount borrowed the second month, and amount borrowed the third month, and continue like that. So I'll look at this uh, these three numbers critically, whether I can discover something happening between the terms or between these values. Look at the first one, 530. The next one is 545. You can see it's a share of 15. Let me check the third one. 560 compared to 545. Its difference is 15. So when you add 15 to 545, it gives you 560, which means this can be an AP sequence that has a first time 530. And the common difference, that is what we keep adding to get the next 15 Naira. So this could be an AP with the first term 530 Naira and the common difference 15 Naira. So if that is the case, we can now find the total amount of his debt in a year as simple as the sum of the first, first 12 terms of that AP. So total debt in that year will now be some of the first 12 terms of this very AP. And the formula for finding sum is given as R equals to R over 2 multiplied by bracket open. Inside the bracket you have 2A plus another bracket open. Inside that inner bracket is N minus 1. The inner bracket closed multiplied by D then close the very first bracket. This is the formula we use to find the some of the very first n times if the sequence is ap so substitute it in this to get as n that is some of the first 12 the terms substituting n by 12 a by 530 d by 15 in this formula we now have uh, s to 12 equals to 12 over 2 multiplied by the bracket inside the bracket is 2 multiplied by 530 plus another bracket open inside you have 12 minus 1 that is n minus 1 then multiply the inner bracket by 15 which is your d 5 times 530 and 12 minus 1 times 15 is what gives answer 1060 1060 is now 5 times 530 and 12 minus 1 gives answer 11. That 11 multiplied by 15 is what you have 165 here. So adding 1060 and 165 correctly, you now have 1225. And this will now be multiplied by 6. The 6 place is 12 divided by 2. So multiplying these two, two values two together correctly give result 7,315. So this will now be his total debt. If you continue borrowing in this pattern up to the end of the year, this will now be his total debt. And this answered the question. Let me just write it in statement form. His total debt in a year will now be 7,315 error. This will now be his total debt. So let me just share with you how this very question is now marked during the marking of this paper, NECO 2022. So the very first mark is method one mark, and this method one mark is substituting n, e, and d in the formula for finding sum of first n times in AP correctly. If you substitute correctly, you have this method one mark. And next mark is simplifying and attempting to get uh, the sum up to this level. You have this method one mark. When you now have uh, the sum are 7,315 naira correctly. You have this accuracy one mark. And when you now write the answer in statement form, that is the total debt 7,315 naira, you have another accuracy one mark. So in total, this question has four good marks.